Hello YouTubers. Uh, in this video I wanted to take a look at the performance impact of the different Dell thermal management settings inside of Dell Power Manager um, on the performance of the CPU using Cinebench to load it up. And uh, in this video I'm running a 0.13 volt undervolt. And so I ran it a second ago and it scored 1094 on Cinebench. Um, on the ultra performance setting I'm going to run it again. And uh, the fans weren't spinning when I first put my hand here. I mean, not that I could feel. And right about now, they've gone full blast. And I can see that the max core frequency it looks like 3.83 gigahertz over here, which is quite good considering maximum load. And we've dropped to 3.34, which is still quite good. Uh, the CPU is currently about 80 degrees Celsius, 81 degrees Celsius. Okay, we're immediately back down to 59. Uh, the fans feel like they're still going full speed. Now I will try the optimized setting and we will run Cinebench twice just to make sure that the result is accurate. In the last run we scored 1082 which is in line with our 1090 score. It's around the same. It has not throttled the CPU yet, but I can feel the air coming out of the back. Um, it's definitely hotter. It feels like the fans are not spinning nearly as fast. The package temperature has already hit 86, but it looks like it dropped down to about 85. And so we'll run it again. We scored 1093, which is in line with our last result. Uh, package temperature immediately just hit 97, 90. My fans feel like they ramped up a little bit more, and they slowed back down, 86. So it seems like it's not as good as at dealing with the spikes, um, but it's still quite good. Um, and I, even this one I, I would call better than version 1.8's uh, thermal management profile, uh, BIOS version that is. We're still at about 85 degrees Celsius package temperature, and we scored 1,075. That's quite good. Now we will try cool and see what we score. Oh, and uh, this is the i7-8750H model of this laptop. Okay, we are now on the cool setting, and we're going to run Cinebench twice. Uh, looks like CPU temperature is about 70 degrees Celsius, but I can see on the max core frequency we are throttling quite heavily to maintain that now. So instead of trying to compensate by ramping up the fans, it is throttling the CPU down to currently about 1.43 gigahertz, which, ouch. Package temperature is 61 degrees. Um, fans are not really spinning. I, I gotta say, I just, this is a dumb setting. This is really dumb. Like, the performance sucks. It still gets hot, just as hot as ultra performance, but the fans don't spin. Like, you're literally telling it, reduce my performance for no reason. This is dumb. Four ninety three. I don't think I want to run that a second time. <laughs> let's just let's try quiet and see what that does. All right, hand behind it to feel the airflow. So far, uh, and it slowed down. Okay, so the CPU temperature is still 61 degrees, and again, we are throttling heavily to try to maintain that temperature, and I feel like the fan speed is even less than it was before. I, I, I honestly can barely even tell that it's blowing. 
The only reason I know is I just feel my hand getting hot. I can't actually feel the airflow. Again, this is another setting that is like, this is dumb. And the reason I say this is dumb, in my opinion, is th this is a gaming laptop. I mean, performance comes at the expense of heat and power consumption. So, I, I gotta say, if you bought a gaming laptop and you expected it to not blow hot air out the back, um, you were under the wrong impression. <laughs> I will say I am very thankful that Dell actually listened to its customers, um, especially with last generation's model. And even though they were still selling it when they released the BIOS, they addressed customer concerns. We scored 451 that time. And I, I'm just really, really happy that Dell actually listened and gave us this ultra performance setting because I'll run it one more time after doing the rest of them just so that you can see the massive difference that it makes. And the fans just went full blast. And the cool thing is, too, it'll actually hold the fans full blast. So, like, when you're gaming, even between um, matches or whatever while it's loading and stuff, it keeps the fans spun up. So you don't actually enter a match right into stunnering, which is fantastic. And the Cinebench score, again, 1064 immediately. Seriously, if you have one of these laptops, optimized or ultra performance are the only settings I would recommend. Um, optimized, in my opinion, is a great trade-off of surface temperature and performance, where ultra performance is just, it's the fastest fan speeds, it keeps it the coolest, it reduces throttling the most. Optimized, it seemed like it reduced the fan speeds to reduce noise, uh, which did work, and it still kept performance high, so another good setting if you're bothered by the noise of the laptop. Uh, cool and quiet, if you feel that you want to use those, uh, you need a different laptop. Uh, that's, this is not what a gaming system is for, but that's just my opinion. Anyways, I hope this video helps. Uh, I couldn't find a whole lot of information about the 1.9 BIOS and the difference that it makes. Um, I haven't experienced BIOS 1.3. Uh, I bought this laptop January of 2019, so it came with 1.8, I want to say. I don't remember. And I did experience thermal throttling and stuttering in games, and it drove me absolutely mad. This BIOS has corrected all of that. The other setting I recommend changing is actually in your NVIDIA control panel. Under Manage 3D Settings, if you scroll down, you'll see Power Management Mode. Set that to Prefer Maximum Performance. Okay? Out of, uh, by default, it is considered... Uh, Maximum power savings, if I remember correctly. And that is not a good setting for that. Um, anyways, that's the video. I hope this helps. Uh, definitely undervolt your CPU. Find your stable undervolt voltage and use it because it makes a pretty significant difference, about 10% or so, in performance. So, no overclocking, no dangers, less heat, better battery life. It's all good. Just do it. Thank you for watching.